Do you like to create your own games or cartoons? How about having to play your own program? How cool is that? Well, today I will teach you a lesson on Scratch and with this you will be able to do a simple program. If you are new to this, that's still okay. I'll show you the basic steps of um, Scratch. You can, cre you can create your own account or uh, uh, you can create the game online. So soon after you search scratch, soon after you search scratch, this is the page which will come. If you don't have a account, it's okay. So this is the screen you will see when you open Scratch online. As I have already created an account, I will open my, I will use my account. So you can just create, a, a, tap this button to create. So as I have an account, I'll sign in. Now press this button create. And now I'll show you how the game is. So when I tap this green flag, the, this balloon will go here and there. And when I tap the balloon, there is a noise and the score increases. So, you and I will learn how to make this little game. Now, before we do anything, we'll go here and rename it as Catch the balloon now this is what you get this is what we are going to use this white area to program like make a code so this so our game will like be a game so here in the left hand side you'll see some blocks we use these blocks to make the program so i'll show you some examples events let's go to events events is a, ye a yellow color button so events is like it'll sooner now let's take this example when flag clicked when this green flag is clicked something will happen whatever we put um like underneath it will happen and let's go to sounds um there is a different set or group of blocks let me click on this but um, this block to show you an example oh it's so cute right but we don't want that sound or this cat to be in our game so i Come back to these blocks later. We'll go here. Sprite. Sprite is like what the cat is, or a human, or a bat, or a ball, or a, like like or a, like a dinosaur or animals or whatever. It's the, all those belong in a group called sprites. So we'll delete this cat as we don't want it. And here you go find this button, choose a sprite, tap on it, and wait till it loads. And here you'll find lots of sprites, but we don't want any of these, only a balloon. So we click on that. Uh, 
Oh, a little bit. So see, this is the balloon I chose. See, it's nice, but maybe we should make it a bit colorful. So we go here, backdrop. Backdrop means background. We click on that. Choose this. Isn't it beautiful? But we need to make it a real game. See, in Catch the Balloon, this one, it goes here and there, change the colors, and when we click it, it increases the score and it makes a sound. So we need to do all that. So to do it, will be having a code. Now let's go to events and take one flag clicked. That means when this flag is clicked, something will happen. So we go to forever, the control, and choose forever. That means when flag clicked, forever, this will happen. So let's go to looks. That means how this balloon will look. And scroll down. And use the change color effect by 25. We put that. And see, color it has like a drop down. This. So we press that. Let's see what this example can be. So let's choose whirl, for example. See, this balloon is like whirling, whirling, whirling. It's beautiful. But we don't need that. So we'll choose color effect by 25. See, it's so beautiful. Now we'll be having to move it here and there. So we go to motion. Motion is like how this balloon go moves. So let's say example press this move 10 steps. This balloon is moving like to the right side. So let's just go to random position. Now let's see what will happen. Ooh. Nice, right? It's but it's going like too fast. So let's use some method to slow it down a bit. We'll go to control and wait one second. That uh, that means after it goes to a certain place, it'll wait there one second. Let's see. See, it waits like like it's like a game, but we when we click it. We'll be needing the sc a score to increase and a noise. So let's go to variables and make a variable. Let's name it score. Make sure the spelling spellings are right. Okay. Okay, so this is the new variable we made and see the score is here. So now we will go to events and take when spri this sprite clicked. When this balloon is clicked, we need it to make a sound and we need to increase the score by one. So let's go to sound and see play start sound pop. Choose that and put it here. And after that, go to variables and take change my variable by one. But we don't want my variable to change by one. We want our score to be changed by one. So click show a score and after that see how it happens. Nice, right? It's like a game. But hmm. but see in this game when we press the green flag automatically the score again 
resets to zero. So we go here and we go to events and take one flag clicked. Go to variables and take set my variables to zero. So not my variable, we need score. Set score to zero. Now let's see how it came out. The score re automatically re resets to zero and this balloon is gone here and there changing its color. And when I click, click it, the color, the, the score increases and, and the sound happens. So this is the game we made. Bye. Hope to see you in my next game.